Uh, hello everyone, this is Pamper Chew. Uh, a few weeks ago, a friend brought this over to show me this really cool drive his uh, friend just got on eBay. Uh, very cheap uh, for $15 for 256 gigabytes. And we both looked at each other <laughs> grinning because I already knew it was probably a counterfeit uh, that his friend gave him to try to take a look at and fixing. Um, but he hands it to me and I immediately say this is fake you know uh, and so he's like okay but uh, well can you uh, reprogram it back to its original uh, size so it can be used and we looked into it um, so these fake drives I, I lost the rest of the cover but they are usually a real drive made from uh, the cheapest parts that they could source so usually something like an 8 or 16 gigabyte uh, flash chip uh, nowadays is used and sold as 2D6. Uh, when data gets written to this chip, it does, it does work for 8 or 16 gigabytes and then it starts writing over the beginning of the, the NAND flash again and it appears to work. Um, most people that don't know what, what's actually happening, they, they see it working, they see their files there uh, and then it just kind of it writes over something if you go over that limit and most people still kind of fall for that um, fake flash drive deal on eBay so anyway the the, um, the goal was to reprogram the microcontroller so that it reports its correct size of whatever the chip was and we couldn't actually figure out and much information about the chip other than it was a, a 32 or 16 gigabyte so knowing this I um, was browsing eBay and I found a company that sold all different sizes of uh, flash drive starting at 90 cents all the way up to something like $20 for $23 for a couple terabyte one and knowing how these ones are made where they'll take the, the lowest size chip possible and uh, reprogram the, the microcontroller on here to report a larger size I um, was very curious about other other capacities and I found a deal on eBay for 90 cents free shipping um, for the lowest size capacity and all the way up to I think two terabyte drives for uh, twenty thirty dollars but they were selling it as their lowest drive ninety cents they were selling it as a one megabyte USB flash drive and I know for a fact that doesn't exist it never existed because this is the very first flash drive and it was eight megabytes so something some, they're doing something it's counterfeit obviously but how how would they be um, going about this so they were not losing money because if I could buy a one megabyte flash drive knowing they're using the lowest size chip they can, uh, they can source nowadays uh, I was hoping that it would you know, be like a 16 gig drive for 90 cents a real one and you just reprogram it uh, to the larger capacity in this case well I ordered two of them paid for it and I got an email from the, the company in some broken English and it said um, it said are you um, are you sure this is the best fit for you and because I realized their confusion of me ordering something like this I said uh, I replied yes one meg one megabyte is correct uh, thank you and about a month later I got these two flash drives that were uh, sold to me as the one megabyte drives so I thought I was going to receive something like this inside and find a really cool loophole for actual flash drives that would be cheap but that is not the case and when I cracked them open actually first I plugged them into the computer and they were reporting as four megabyte drives so I was kind of bummed out there I really wanted the one megabyte version so this is what I found inside and you can see it's 
not a flash memory at all. This is what a flash and flash memory package looks like. Sometimes it's not packaged in a square like this, but it's generally like this. And then this is usually the controller. Well, to be able to send me what they could probably find laying around in the shop, and I, I'm not sure exactly how many of these they sell, but they were concerned when I ordered a couple. It looks like a modified EEPROM programmer. This is a little USB programmer that uh, it's made for, you know, programming these little chips. So I have a socketed one. Here it is. So some of these will have sockets on them. You can just pop these little chips in the socket and program them through USB. It's kind of nice. But they actually made, they might have even made it, uh, just for me because like like I said the flash memory does not exist in those sizes